Hello there, Sir from 17 once again, introducing you to my Devil May Cry 3 Dante Must Die difficulty video walkthrough. This is the second mission of the game and it's entitled Blood Link. So this is another one of the first real, you know, challenging fights of the game because you're going to be introduced to Lusts, which are the red of the Devil Trigger, of the, the enemies that you're going to take on. And they're a much more aggressive version of these enemies that we're fighting right now. And on this difficulty and on the harder difficulties, they will actually get a new move called the, the Luster Cut, as people have called it, which is an uppercut move they do that is very fast and hard to dodge. And they're a nuisance. You're going to be taking on a few of them. You're going to be taking on sloths that appear, or sloths. And they have a lot of life when they Devil Trigger. But how the Devil Trigger works on this game is, I think as soon as you kill two enemies, the rest of the enemies will Devil Trigger. And, and if you take too long to kill them, they'll Devil Trigger by default. So it kind of becomes this game of trying to kill everything as fast as you can before they get that massive buff. And the Lusts are very easy to read. You'll notice he'll, he'll backflip before he comes in for his attack. But if, if he dashes forward kind of low at you, he means he's going to do the uppercut. And that one is much faster and harder to see. Uh, little footnote here as well, people. You'll notice I'm getting hit a lot. Uh, I'm, I'm getting hit by a lot of sloppy things because um, I'm rusty at this game. When I was good at this game, was back on the PlayStation 2 when this game came out. So the skill is in me, it just takes a while to get it out. And I'm, I get very lazy with some of the encounters, especially on Dante Must Die. Because when they devil trigger, the fights get so ridiculous. Everything takes a week to die. And when I first beat the game on Dante Must Die for the first time, way back when, I actually said to myself I'd never do it again because I hated how much life they got when you fight them. But a good technique as well is the Kalina Ann. When you shoot them point blank with the Kalina Ann, it will sometimes stun them and knock them on their ass. And the shotgun has the same effect. So there are a few weapons and there's a few moves that will do it as well. And you need to learn those moves to, to know when you can knock them down. Because the only time you will interrupt this enemy when they devil trigger is if you do something strong. If you don't, their attacks will just slice straight through yours. And it can be really frustrating. And what I'm doing there is a buffering move. And you'll notice I do it too much and I get hit because sometimes you'll get caught in those moves where you can't actually jump away because there's a couple of recovery frames that will stop you from being able to jump. And a lot of my early mistakes on these videos before I actually got back into the swing of things are because I get stuck in moves that I can't cancel out of and I press jump and the game just doesn't jump. And it does happen a lot. You've got to be careful of that. Uh, it's a very responsive game, but at times you can still get screwed by things like that. But watch out for the exploding dudes. They're a fucking nuisance. You notice I jump away, shoot them, and uh, just try and wait for that blow to blow up. As soon as it does, I can come back in and start fighting. And the enemy types right now, just the standard sins and the sloth guys, these are not too difficult to fight. You'll notice I use the devil trigger explosion there to knock them down. They then devil trigger, and I start using a move called real impact with Beowulf and Swordmaster, which if you hold the right bumper or R1 and you press backwards and B or circle, it will do a really powerful uppercut that takes forever to swing, but if you connect, it does massive damage. And then if you tap B or circle as fast as you can, it'll then follow it up with a, a spin kick, like Ryu, uh, Ryu style off a of Street Fighter. And this right here that you can see is a technique known as jump cancelling. And uh, that's something that I'm going to cover in my you know, introduction to the guide video that I've now done. So if you want to learn about jump cancelling, there are plenty of tutorials. I'm going to give you a brief understanding of them, and you're going to see me doing them a lot. <clears throat> Excuse me. But this is the first boss of the game, and it is the Hell Vanguard. And he's going to soon become a normal enemy. So the first difference from the other difficulties to this one is when he teleports and does this attack, he will do it three times. And the best way to evade it is to just double jump away from it. Uh, if it's coming below you or if it's close to you and you don't think you can double jump enough, wait for the second it happens and do the normal jump. That way you'll use the invulnerability frames to dodge it. And my technique is to jump cancel Stinger Bees with Beowulf and use the Devil Trigger explosions to cause massive damage. Uh, he does not have a lot of life, he is easily the easiest boss on the game. And uh, get used to fighting it because you're going to fight plenty more of them. But there you go, folks. Thanks for watching. I hope it helps, and you take care now.